everyone, it's me, Rex Canadensis, and today's video is going to be a P.O. Box unboxing. Basically, I have a public mailbox, anybody can send me anything they want, and I will open it on camera. Uh, the information about that is always going to be on my channel About tab. You just click X Canadensis and then click About, and you will see the information there. The reason I put it there is because I can update the information more regularly there. Um, instead of having to go back to every single video that I might have mentioned it in, I just update it in one place. Uh, and all of these were sent by you guys. So I have three packages to unbox with you today, and... Um, yeah, I'm very excited to see what's inside. Also, please excuse the background. There's a lot of rearranging going on, uh, and I can't really finalize any of this until July. Well, I can't even get started, not finalize, but get started on moving this stuff until July, so it's just kind of awkward right now, but that's okay. Anyway, let's get started. So the first package has me very intrigued because it's this Mickey Mouse film reel package, which isn't this like 2000s Disney store? Like when I was a kid and wasn't allowed to go into the Disney store, I think this is what it looked like. I remember going into a hollowed out one once and it had this film stuff everywhere and I thought it was so cool looking. And it does say Disney store here. So is that what this is? Cause this is really cool. Um, and I can't read the name on this one, but I do recognize it. Um, well, sorry, can read the name. I just choose not to until I find a note that tells me that I can't. Okay, so this is wrapped in Disney store wrapping paper and then we need to see if, oh my gosh, <laughs> Disney tissue paper. All right, there is a note. Here it is, okay. This is so cool, it has like stickers on it, okay. Hi there, Brooke, my name is Tony and I love your channel, collection and doll collecting, brainy girl aesthetic. I've never gotten that before, actually. Um, I've never had the word aesthetic associated with me at all because I feel like I have none, but thank you. <laughs> all I can say is that you are iconic. I would attach a piece of my, a pic of my fluffer puss, but I'm too broke for a printer. I'm sending you three dolls from my boyfriend's dad's comic book shop. In your parcel, I'm sending you a ooh, 2002 Barbie mermaid. On Reddit, this girl fixed the rips slash tears in the tail with hot glue. I hope these dolls get some love and attention. You can find me on Insta at at earth underscore talent underscore pixie. All right, we're gonna have to do that. And look at this Lisa Frank Swan and how cute this paper is. Oh my gosh, I'm intrigued by your dad's store. If that's not too, I assume that would be kind of um identifying information, but if you want to shout it out in the description, you totally can. Um, let's see what's inside. I'm very intrigued by your Disney store box also. Like I'm gonna keep that, it's really cool. Okay, so let's see what's inside. I'm just gonna pull out, okay, this doll's wearing a big gown, I think. Oh, I grabbed, oh, oops, I grabbed, <laughs> oh my god, so this is the mermaid fantasy Barbie that I had as a kid, <gasps> and she has all her stuff, okay, I, I had this doll as a kid. I believe I got her at a garage sale. I have never seen this piece before in my life. I did not know this was a part of the doll, like to be 100% honest with you. I remember having these sleeves too, so these pieces must have come off. <gasps> and I will have to try fixing the tail. I actually have um, two of these dolls. I have this one, but mine is in terrible condition because uh, she was my childhood one. And I, she's in decent condition, but her tail has some major rips worse than this. Like. For some reason, when I was a kid, I was really interested in, like, the mechanism, so I kept trying to rip this. Um, not even when I was a kid. I was, like, a, t a tween when I was doing that. I was far too old to be doing that. Um, and then also down here, there's a pretty bad rip on mine, which yours is in the back. Um, but mine is missing the sleeves, and I haven't been able to find the crown for several years now. And look at her. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so excited about her. Oh, my god thank you so much i can't wait to build a display with these see the problem is you can't display these sitting down and that's how i like to display mermaids um so i'm gonna have to make a creative setup for these because if you're doing this stop doing it because i i thought this was a good idea i displayed my christy one of these sitting down and it actually formed a really really um obvious tear in her tail which seems to be what happened here actually is that this doll must have been sitting down at some point so i strongly advise you not to sit these dolls down on display 
um it's a shame because that's how they look so cute sitting down like that because they have such a like a nice looking tail when it's bent and stuff but try to display them completely straight like this um tony thank you so much i'm really excited to fix her up i can totally do a video on that too and her tail is it was so funny this doll again she's from my childhood she was my bath toy i had her since at least age three um and I was moving into my dorm, so I'm 17 years old, moving moving out from home into college, and I was packing all my dolls up, I was organizing them all so that when I got out of college, or when I moved out of my dorm, all of them would be like, you know, in a way that makes sense. And I had her sticking out of a bin like this, and my cat, not one of the cats that I have now, he's one of my mom's cats, I love that cat, but he'd never chewed on any doll related thing before, I've never had a cat chew on doll stuff, but he just walked right up and chewed the tip of her tail off and then walked off. And that's, like, he, he just said, I'm going to ruin your doll. I'm not going to elaborate. And then I'm going to walk away. It was awful. <laughs> so I've been needing to replace my Barbie for a while. And I cannot believe that you just sent one to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh my god. I'm so excited about her. All right. I'm going to set her down like this because we can't um, sit her down as we know and I think we'll totally be able to fix the rips I hadn't thought of super glue but that's actually a good idea because you can actually fix your own skin with super glue if you cut it open so I will take you up on that and that can be its own whole video because these dolls um very often are very messed up the thing that's been stopping me from buying them online honestly is that anytime there's an even decent price they're all torn up all right, and then um, the other doll that got pulled out of here, um, unfortunately she got overshadowed, even though this is another uh, grail for me. Um, <laughs> this is Giselle from Enchanted. This is the live action, so the Amy Adams in live action in her wedding dress. So this is, I believe, the Mattel live action. So this is the from the end of the movie, obviously, when she's getting married. Um, and this is Giselle from Enchanted. Um, so it's really just like a live action doll of Amy Adams, which I love. I love Amy Adams. <gasps> Look at that. She's so cute. I really wish, um, some of the other live action Disney characters had this treatment from Mattel because I feel like they can do a good job and did here. Look at her and check out her dress. All the details on this dress. Like the butterflies. And this super cute necklace too. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. Tony. I don't know what to say. Oh, she has her shoes. Look at these little pearly shoes. So this is my third Giselle doll, actually. I have the, I believe I have the Disney Store single, but I might be wrong. It, She might be the Mattel one. I always get them confused. They're very similar. Um, and that's the cartoon version. And then I have the uh, Midnight Masquerade, who also represents the cartoon version. So I've never had a like Amy Adams live action version. So this is actually really exciting for me. And she's so sweet. I'm really impressed with the sculpt actually because I've never, I've never seen this doll in person. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm like really... <laughs> it's very rare to me that um, a live action, like a, a real person's face is translated to a doll with their features well. And I think this one did a really good job. Although I'm not sure if this is a new mold or not. It must be because they they only tagged at Disney and they would only do that if it was a new sculpt. But and the nose is pretty distinct. She's really really beautiful. This is a gorgeous doll. Oh my gosh, I love these big poof sleeves. Oh, these are se this is a separate sleeve. So I'm, I can sew another one of these so that she has one on the other side. So that's gonna be no problem. I love the big poofy sleeves. I remember in the movie and they're just flouncing around. Oh my gosh, thank you and. Very good timing, because there's another Enchanted movie coming out. Did y'all know that? Disenchanted? I think it comes out next year, probably. Maybe 2024, actually. I don't... They were filming last year? Early last year, maybe? I don't remember. Um, anyways, there's one more doll in the bag, and maybe some accessories fell out, so I'll have to check. Oh, hello! Who are you? So this is another mermaid doll. And her face is a bit sticky, so she's gonna need some help. I don't recognize her actually interesting so she has this really unique uh tail these metal earrings are they metal no they're they're plated um her face is sticky so i'm gonna have to figure out how to de-stick that um but i'm worried about her face paint after that 
Her body feels so different. Is she um is she a bootleg? That's not a bad thing by any means, but I'm just I don't recognize her at all. She is unique. If y'all recognize her, let me know. <gasps> okay. I just I don't think she would be a bootleg with hair this nice, but she's so um her body feels so distinct. But it's probably because she was meant to be like a underwater toy, huh? So maybe she's made out of a different material. Check out this tail. So cool. It reminds me of the Magic Mer Baby's tails, actually. And look, you can change it so that now it's a um dress huh maybe this is one of those like barbie competitor brands that was out back in the um she looks like a late 80s barbie would be my guess she's really cute but i have no idea who she is her hair is really soft i'm really impressed by the hair and this uh dry rotted rubber band it's so sad that rubber bands uh deteriorate like that only some though sometimes they're great um huh well, I really hope some of y'all have um, information in the comments because she doesn't have any company uh, marks at all on her. It's very interesting. Uh, and her face paint, it's just her face, her sculpt and her paint are so Barbie looking. But if she was Barbie, I feel like she would have the sculpt information. So I'm not sure. Um, but check out, there's like a Y on her earrings. Maybe that's pertinent. The hair is so soft and it's well rooted too. Like there's a good amount of hair on the head. Very interesting. Ooh, this is a good uh, addition to my little mermaid set going on. I have quite a few beautiful mermaid dolls. And then I want to make sure if anything fell. Oh, Giselle's crown. Oh, it has a little butterfly on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, look. Cute. Okay, Tony, thank you so much. And if you have pictures of your cats, I am accepting them. I do still have an email and other social media that you can reach me on. Thank you so much. These are so exciting to me. I'm really, really stoked for when I have my displays ready and can actually get them up on display. I really, I'm planning to, for my Mermaidia dolls, and then it will expand into my other Mermaid dolls, have like a display that can encompass all of them that's more like underwater themed so that they can be displayed standing up in a way that makes sense. My H2O just had water dolls I'm struggling with and Mermaids Mermaids, Mermaid High, like I don't want all of those displayed together necessarily but I don't really know how I'm gonna do it because I want all the Barbies together but then all the other mermaids, all the other mermaids from other doll lines would thematically make sense there but I feel like they would- Mermaids Mermaids and Barbie, Barbie Mermaid Fantasy would be very strange next to each other. So I'm like, I'm struggling with um, what I'm going to do there. But oh my gosh, thank you so, so much for sending these to me and for your kind words and your note, Tony. I am, I really appreciate it. Um, so the next package is actually um, this one here. And this one has eBay tape all over it. And it has a, it's not something that I purchased. So I, I think someone sent it to me from eBay. And I can't show you the front of the box, but... It has this sticker that says, thank you for your purchase. Hope you rate our products on the front. So um, I hope this was meant to come to me and it wasn't a mistake because uh, I'm not sure. But somebody has sent something from eBay before, so maybe it is. I don't know. But let's get into the package and see what's inside. <laughs> Sunboxed here. Sorry, I lost the scissors that I like to normally use. These don't open all the way, so they're hard to use as a knife. All right, let's see. We have somebody in box here. That's the 2000s Barbie logo, okay. The White House project? Ooh, she's pretty, okay. I don't think I've ever seen this doll before. So this is Barbie for President 2004. It says, I am running for President of the United States because I love this country. I also care about education, the environment, and the arts. I want to inspire and lead. Together, we can change the world. Interesting. Okay. I know there's been a lot of Barbie President dolls, but I've never seen this one. Is this a little button that the kid can wear? How cute is that? You can go um, spread Barbie's campaign promises and like tell people why you're voting for Barbie wearing this pin. People walk up to you and be like, why do you believe in Barbie's platform for president? And you can say. Um, she appreciates education, the environment and the arts and loves this country. And she says that together we can change the world. 
and changes in italics. That's before uh, Obama was using it in 2008. Write this down. Anyway, <laughs> kidding. This outfit is so pretty. I have no information on how this got to me and there's no note in the package. So I'm gonna wait to open her or do anything until um, hopefully somebody in the comments can claim to be the one who sent her. I'm very curious. She is gorgeous and she's from the exact era that I love. I think, check out her face. Like this specific era in the early 2000s, this is just when I had dolls. This is when I was five years old when this doll came out. Um, look at her. Oh, she has a little sign too that fell in her bag. God, she's cute. Her, her like pantsuit specifically is amazing. Like the fabric it's made out of and the little scarf. Can you imagine? I would vote for you, Barbara. Barbara Millicent Roberts, I think you would make a great president, honestly. Look at her. Huh. Okay. This is a really, really cool doll, but I don't I don't know any context, so I'm nervous about her. Like, what if she was sent to me by accident? I don't know. But thank you so so much for sending her if she if she is for me. Um I really appreciate it. I think she's so cool. I love my favorite part of this box is like you're looking at it. And everything is on theme. And then there's just this big Barbie pink. Like, Barbara, I'm here too. This is my Barbie pink. And then there's probably something like, Barbie pink is a registered trademark of Mattel. They always have. <laughs> um, it's so funny. Anyway. Thank you for her. I'm intrigued. And I can unbox her with, if, if she was uh, meant to be sent to me anyway, I could unbox her with a bunch of Fashion Fever dolls. One of my Fashion Fever dolls that I ordered has arrived. So we're... We're getting started on the fashion fever. I've returned. Didn't have to use Giselle again because her white balance did a really good job. Um, the box is now open. I cut a little hole in the tissue paper there. Sorry. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Where is this envelope from? It's a rainbow high envelope. Oh, this is so cute. Okay little note it says in this paper too where did you get this okay so <laughs> dolls on the go always finds the most interesting rainbow high merchandise and i'm so envious because all the states that i've lived in so far the stores that rainbow high merch tend to show up at they either just don't stock things as regularly or don't get the full stock that other stores get so i'm always like oh my gosh <laughs> anyway hey brick hope you're getting more settled into your new home i'm so happy for you guys congrats thank you i'm really still really weird <laughs> but we still haven't gotten to settle in at all we still don't have a couch like we're we're struggling because we don't have a car or we don't have like a vehicle big enough to transport furniture and we haven't been able to find a couch yet stressful we're hoping for a sectional we are gunning it for a sectional we will see anyway um sometimes i want to move just so i can start my doll room all over i know i'm it's been really fun i've been um drawing little floor plans if you've been watching my doll room vlogs i assume you have been but the others um I, i've been drawing out like the floor plan and figuring out like where i want things it's really exciting um and then this will be short my penmanship is so bad no it's not look how good that looks uh, wanted to send the water bottle an extra bracelet from the Rainbow High pop-up event. It wasn't the same without you there. I wanted to go so bad. You have no idea. So I haven't talked about this on camera, I don't think. But the day that it was, there was a Saturday one and a Sunday one. Uh, the Saturday one I was invited to, the influencer only one. Um, and that was my graduation. So I graduated at like, t I think 10 a.m. to noon. And I was trying so hard to find a flight that would bring me there. And the best I could have done would be to get to California an hour before it ended. So there was absolutely no way just because of how far it was away. Um, and then the other option was to try to go to the Sunday one. But then, so Saturday was my graduation. Then we drove, if you, if you saw my moving vlog, we drove all the way down to Alabama that day and we got here at 4 a.m. So if I had tried to go for the Sunday one, not only would that have been $1,000 because for some reason MGA didn't even tell us, like the influencers about this event until I think just barely a month. So unless you would live in the area, it would, it would have been really, really difficult to plan for it, um, getting hotels and stuff like that. I wasn't even gonna stay in a hotel. I was gonna like sleep in a rental car or something. That was my plan. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, so I was gonna fly there and uh, get there at like 4 a.m. and then just kind of 
figure something out, maybe sleep at the airport. Um, but it just, nothing was plan working out. And my mom was like, you are not missing your master's degree graduation for a doll event. And I was like, mom, please. I want to go so bad. I want to go so bad. And it was going to be really expensive. And I had to, I was buying a house actively at the time. It just, everything lined up so poorly for me. And then Monday after that event, my job started. So even if I realistically I actually could have made the Sunday one but I would never have been able to get home in time to start my job and I don't think um calling in my first day at my like salaried job with my master's degree being hey I'm stuck in California right now I'll be late like it just wasn't meant to be anyway um I would die to go like if they have another one and it doesn't fall on a weird day like that I will be there um I'm hoping they hold another one I feel like that's one of those events that they do not um, repeat especially because that was like the shadow high inaugural event you know um anyway but I did hear the parts of the event were very uh eh. like I don't know if that would have been worth over a thousand dollars to get me there and all the stress of not being able to move with all my stuff and bread and my pets and everything it just wouldn't have worked but I am very sad that I didn't get to go I really wanted to meet people and be there um anyway I don't I am throwing in some I'm throwing in some extra things that I don't need, trying to downsize, hope there is stuff you can use. Hi to Brett, love to Legsy, or sorry, that is Leggy, isn't it? I'm gonna call her Legsy there though, it's cute. From Rachel. Sorry it cut away, my alarm went off and it scared me so bad, I was not expecting that. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so, so much, Rachel. I am in love with this Rainbow High stationery. Uh, that is so cute. <laughs> and, um, okay. I didn't even know there were wristbands. And you grabbed me one, because this one's not even used. <gasps> oh my god. This is so cool. Okay. It's got a little bit of sticky on it, so it's stuck in the bag a little bit. Whoa. This is amazing. Oh, maybe it was used. Oh yeah, it was. But it's in such perfect condition. Look at this. I think I'm actually going to form it, since it was already stuck here anyway, and then I can display it like this. This is so cool. I love this sort of thing. I keep these from everywhere. Like, me and- every year on our anniversary, Brett and I tend to go somewhere interesting, so we keep these wristbands that we get from them. And now I have a Rainbow High Shadow High one. Thank you so much. Oh my god. And then I believe this must be the water bottle. This was the thing. When people were posting pictures of the event, I was like, I will die if I do not get this water bottle. And one of my friends actually told me they'd send me one, but I guess Rachel had me covered too. So this is just a standard water bottle that they stuck a sticker onto, but I love this type of promotional merchandise. It is so weird, like this sort of thing. I love it. These are like specifically what I'm all over. Like when you see a Happy Meal box from 1999 or something, that is so cool to me because it's this part of material history that tends to not be preserved. Like even if there's photographs of it, generally the item does not persist into um, like decades later. So having things like this in my collection that I can archive and preserve hopefully for as long as I live um, is so exciting to me. And I just love the look of this kind of stuff in a collection. I think it adds a lot to it. Um, so it says RHXSH, it's got violet and all these neon lights. It says Rainbow High versus Shadow High, and it's got Heather here. Oh my god. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is so cool. Why is the expiration date on 2021, by the way? It says 22nd of September 2021. I don't know. That's, that's weird. Um, maybe I'm misreading it, though. Okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. Oh my god. Thank you for thinking of me while you were at that amazing event. Like, <laughs> I am so eternally grateful. That is so exciting. Um, and let's see the result of your downsizing. I, I like that I'm I'm downsizing. Brooke would like this. I and I'm not a downsizer. I, I've tried. I don't have the heart to do it. I just um the most I can do is store things. Okay, so in here from the size, I think this is a Cape Club doll. Yep, okay, so this is the second release Raquel, but she has the Amazon exclusive extra hair extension, which mine doesn't have, so this is a variant. 
Um, I'll have to check if she's different from mine, except for this piece, obviously. Um, man, she's in really good condition, Rachel. Oh my god, look how cute she looks. I'm so sorry about the lighting. There's something about my P.O. Box videos specifically that are cursed. Like, I can't figure out the lighting for them. Oh my gosh, look at Raquel. Hi, girly. Stand back here with Giselle. Okay, next we have... In, oops, I accidentally opened the tissue paper too soon. Okay, so we have a... Brett's Chloe first edition purse, and I imagine this is Chloe herself. So this should be the reproduction Chloe, I believe. I don't know. Pretty sure this is the reproduction one. She is very interesting. I think this is the one with the darker um, eyebrow variant, but I could be wrong, and this could just be the... No, this is not 2001. This has to be the reproduction. Um, but this is really exciting, actually, because that means I can display the second outfit, which um, is good, because I have the original one, and she's so cute. Look at her. Thank you, Rachel. Oh my gosh. Man, Bratz dolls can't stay in your house, huh? They always they always end up in mine from you, but they're... I love Bratz. I can't wait to set up my Bratz display. I'm just... I planned out every doll line and I had it where it was all gonna work, even Disney. I was like, this is it. I got this. And then I remembered Bratz. And then I was like, wait, I did not put Bratz in a spot yet. And then I came up with a spot that Bratz would work in, but I put my Rainbow High Store display there. So we gotta figure something else out. But I've got lots of time to decide. Okay, there's somebody... Petite's in here. My guess is a mini American Girl just from the size, but I don't know. I was right. This is mini Luciana. Oh my god, her hair is so soft. Oh. I actually have mini Leah, who is the year, well, two years before Luciana, but that kind of flows. How cute is she? She even has um, her little red belt and stuff. Oh my gosh. These are so interesting. I can't wait to display my American Girl stuff. Like, I think these are going to look so cute on display with their... It's going to never talk to me or my son ever again. It'll be Luciana and her child. How cute is this? I think these are so adorable. And these are such a sweet idea since the American Girl characters are really... Um, what if somebody fell in love with the books but wasn't interested in investing in a $140 doll? Or sorry, I'm thinking of Disney. How much are American Girls now? They're like $120. Um, it's kind of a lot. That's that's very much a lot, especially for like children. Um, so these are such a good option for people who fell in love with the characters but aren't willing to invest that much in it at all. And they're so cute. They're so cute. Will you stand? No, probably not. Oh, but they do sit just like American Girls with the straddle sit. I think American Girls, you, or I know you can um, make their legs stay in. It's real American Girls. Okay. The next one, really having trouble with lighting, I'm trying. <laughs> um, let's see who's in here, is it pink hair? Who are you? Ah, oh, this is Dino Rockin' Party Emberly. Cute. Okay, so I get to play around with Dino Rockin' Party Emily, Emberly and figure out, um, Emily, I just called her Emily. Is that what her name is based off of? I never thought about it. Cause I know it's Ember like fire. My brain filled it in for me. I never really thought about what Emberly was a pun on. I don't know, but I feel like Kimberly and stuff like that are names, so it could also be that. It's probably not Emily. Um, but this is Dino Rock and Party Emberly from the like the line with the party ceratops. Um, and I am excited to. I really want to make custom cake club dolls just because they didn't make very many cake club dolls. Um, I'm getting more and more cake club dolls to experiment with over time. I keep picking them up at thrift stores and. Thank you. I'm, I have so many now, but I, I'm, just, I'm like terrified to start trying to repaint and stuff, but they're so cute. And then this is a doll wig, I believe. I don't know what doll line this goes to. I would assume Snap Stars, but I don't know. Well, it's very soft. Really pretty one, but I don't know who it goes to. I have quite a few doll wigs. I have a bit of doll wigs. And then these are some Cave Club accessories in here. So I see the Tella, the Tella sleepover set. I see Dino Rock and Party Emberly's stuff. I actually, her scrunchie is in my car for work. If I ever need, like, forget a scrunchie or something, I can just <laughs> put it. Well, it's actually in Brett's car, not mine, but um, it's in there for that reason. Train. The train's going by, and it's very rude. It comes by this late of night, always when I want to film my videos, and it does the horn a bunch of times, but it's pretty consistent. It only does it like three times, and it stops, but. Rude! I'm kidding. <laughs> above me it does not involve me anyway next is whoever this is she seems to have big boots on like i can feel boots here uh, let's see who's inside <gasps> rachel okay so this is a cuckoo harajuku doll i believe this is angel they're lo they're love angel music baby 
Um, <laughs> and there's the train. Sorry, we're gonna keep going though. I think this is Angel and I didn't pick these up when they were in stores, but I thought they were so cute and I do have one already. Oh my gosh, and now I have another one and this is not the one that I already had. Aren't they so cute? I've just been hoping that I find them at a thrift store and I did find one and she was complete and Brett loves that doll. Brett thinks that doll is so exceptional. So I'm excited to show him this one. <gasps> so Brett's sleeping right now, but I will say hi in the morning with, with this doll because I think he will enjoy her. <gasps> Thank you, Rachel. Oh my gosh, her socks are so cute. What company even made these? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I never really thought about it. it does not say. Okay, Mattel. <gasps> these are made by Mattel? That is news to me. With certain dolls, I just don't think about it. And these were one of them. Also, Shibajuku Girls, who made those? Like, actually, who made those? I have no idea. Um, same time period. I just wasn't paying a lot of attention. Also, these dolls have, like, really good, like, really cool body molds. I think they're really interesting. And Gwen Stefani really wants to have a doll line stick, and they keep not sticking for some reason, which is a shame because they're actually really nice dolls. Okay, so this next one I am guessing is Cat Noir. Just from, I see blonde hair and a black mask on. Um... But is this the Bandai one, you think? I don't know. Interesting. So I don't believe I have whichever version of him this is. But this is the Playmates one, I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's something different about him. But maybe he's one from, like, a two-pack? Yeah, this is Playmates. I don't know. I'm gonna have to compare him to mine. Maybe I just haven't interacted with mine in a minute, so I'm not... I'm not sure. He's so... I think the new season has been coming out, right? I need to go look into that because it ended on a really interesting cliffhanger. Look at him. Okay, very fun. And if he is the same as the one that I already have, there's a lot of different like variants of Cat Noir in the show that I can like maybe do custom work on. I love that I say that, but I'm terrified to do customs. The reason I don't do it, like I always mention being excited about making customs and stuff, but I've had my soul crushed a couple times where every time I try to make a custom, I'll like post a progress picture and then somebody comes into my comments or it, the one specific instance, uh, recent, not recently, but one of the more recent examples of me actually attempting to make a custom. I had like a Enchant Excitation that I was doing and I thought she turned out so good and I posted a picture and I hadn't finished yet. I was still missing a couple of trims and stuff. And, and somebody sent me a DM just with like a like three paragraph long think piece of everything that I did wrong. Even though most of it was stuff that I was going to do, I just hadn't gotten to yet because it was a work in progress. And I just, I couldn't touch that doll again. I was like, <laughs> so I'm going to be completely remaking that one someday. That's that's one that I really want to do soon because I want to prove them wrong because that, that was like soul crushing. It's like, who does that? I didn't ask for a critique. I don't know. But anyway, that's, if you... Uh, the reason you very rarely catch me making customs, unless it's something simple like a reroute, and even then people will come in and say things about reroutes that I, like, you do a reroute and people will be like, um, I don't like the color you picked. Okay, I didn't ask. Like, it's not for you. Anyway. That's, um, that's why you hear me plan customs a lot and I don't do it because I just get really scared, but I need to work through that and do it because it would make me really, really happy to do so. And Rachel, I'm very excited um, to look into doing. And then this is a huge doll. I mean, she just has a big dress, I think. I don't know if this would... I don't even have a guess. Bell, maybe? This is a really cool collector Barbie. I have... Oh my god, look how big this is. <gasps> yeah, there's one of those big... Bill Blass Barbie collectibles. So this is some uh, designer collab of some sort? Well, would you call it a collab? What, what, what would the word you would use? It's like a... Ooh. Ooh, look, 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 look. There's a... Ooh, okay. I have absolutely no idea who this is. Rachel, she's so cool. Well, thankfully, there's a name on the doll so I can look into this before I post the video, but... <gasps> See, why won't Disney Store dolls just do this when there's supposed to be a big train or a big cape? Just do it. Just do it. See? It can be done. Also, I am completely in love that they didn't... If this is satin, it's some kind of magical satin that I have never experienced. It is so 
silky feeling and it's not having any weird runs anywhere. It does look like satin up close, but it doesn't feel like satin at all. This feels like satin. This is so nice. Wow. Maybe this is like textile grade satin instead of like Joanne Craft Store $5 a yard satin. Oh, this is phenomenal. And she has painted nails. Collector Barbies tend to actually have painted nails and it throws me off because I'm so used to only really like OMG and Rainbow High having painted nails. She's got them and I'm gonna have to find her some shoes. And her haircut is so pretty and her face too. She looks like she's gotta be around the like 2000s era as well. Gotta get that to lay down how it's supposed to, I mean I'm pretty sure anyway. And she would be really cool to display kind of like this where you can see this beautiful like big flower and then the back of her dress coming around. This doll is magical, but I have absolutely no idea who she is. <laughs> How cool. But that's always exciting when you discover something that you've like never even heard of or thought about or was not even on your radar and then it's something super, super cool. Rachel, this doll is so fascinating. And I feel like if you don't know about Rachel's social media, by the way, she has like, she goes to swap beats a lot and does a lot of, um, Hi. <laughs> it's awkward because I know you're here. So close your ears for this part. Um, she goes to like swap meets and stuff and um, posts a lot of like doll hunting type content on Instagram, which is really fun. And it's not as, um, it's more digestible than watching a 20 minute or 40 minute long video for me on YouTube. You know, you get like um, a condensed version of the experience sometimes, but other times she'll film like her actually hunting. It's really fun. Um, and she finds the most interesting things. Like she even found a San Diego Comic-Con Monster High doll, which that's some California stuff. Like, I I can't even imagine. That is so un unbelievably cool. Um, uh, so I imagine that this was probably a swap meet find. And so cool. So much fun. But it's uh, Dolls on the Go. I'll put a link in the description. And same with um, Tony as well. I really want to check out Tony's Instagram. Oh my gosh. All right. So those are all of our new doll friends for today. Other than... I'm still wondering about Barbie for president so hopefully hopefully you're here because I don't want to just be like thanks for the doll I want to be able to like say thank you to you specifically and um I'm really excited about her I think she's really cool her, her fabric bag looks really really impressive and I can't believe my mermaid fantasy Barbie from my childhood is gonna have all her stuff again oh my gosh or, or sometimes my childhood dolls like I keep them forever but I can retire them like where they're going to be safe in a bin because they're not like display worthy and I'm not sure if my mermaid fantasy Barbie is that one's in better condition for sure but I don't know if she's in like such better condition that she's like substantially more worthy of display we'll have to see um and I'm also still very curious about this doll I'm gonna have to try to do some research um before this video goes up but I doubt I'll figure it out by then because dolls from before the 90s I really struggle to find information on unless they're very obvious like if it's a Barbie in an astronaut costume and I can tell it's an 80s doll, I can figure it out pretty quickly. But with a lot of dolls, I... There's not that many mermaid dolls, right? No, there is. There is. There's not as many as you would think, though. You'd think mermaid would be a really, um... Really, really common gimmick on dolls, and it's really not. It's weird, because it's really fun. It's my favorite. Um, and fairies too. Fairy dolls are surprisingly not super regular. Like you don't see them a lot. Um, the first time you got like a big boom in fairy dolls was with Fairytopia because before that you had Kenner Shimmers which are mini dolls um, and maybe a couple of one-off like this doll is a fairy here and there and some Tinkerbell dolls and stuff but you never got like full-on fairy lineups like Fairytopia, like Dreamtopia, like Disney fairies. You never got stuff like that so it's very weird. With fairies and mermaids both like come on doll companies. They're doing it now with mermaids. Mermaids are getting, they're in their doll renaissance with mermaids right now, but we demand fairies. Did y'all know Disney fairies are like coming back inexplicably, by the way? Like Jack Specific is producing Disney fairies actively again in, they're being released in Australia, but I don't know about anywhere else. Hopefully here though, because I'll be all over those. Anyway, um, that's it for, vid for this video. Thank you so, so much to Rachel and to Tony for sending me things. I'm really... I absolutely love them and I can't wait to find spots for them in my collection and my lone Kuku Harajuku doll is finally going to have one of her friends to hang out with. I'm sure she's going to be excited about that. I always, I love building displays with like my oddball dolls, which is just what I call dolls that don't have like 10 plus dolls in their line. So they just kind of, um, 
like Pinky Cooper, Cuckoo Harajuku, if I had any Shibujuku girls. I do think there's more than 10 of those, but they're very rare. Um, Novi Stars, there's more than 10, but I will never have more than 10. I don't think they are very, very hard to find. Um, but doll lines like that, where I'm never gonna have like a huge amount of them, but I like to display them all together. Uh, but when you have like one from a specific line, like my Catwalk Kitties doll, for example, God, Catwalk Kitties. That's one of those lines that like, if I had a time machine, I would grab those first. Um, those are so cool. <laughs> those are so cool. And unfortunately, they don't last. Like, they're not um, the most high quality dolls in the world, so they don't tend to last into the modern day very much. Like, mine is very damaged. Very damaged. <laughs> I would hope she has, like, a very yellowed body. I'm hoping I can save her working on, working on a tutorial on how to fix yellowed bodies on dolls, but first I need to prove that it works. <laughs> um, but yeah, having a second one to display with her will be so much more exciting and I don't know. I always love doing stuff like that. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, and yeah, let me know how you're doing, I guess. Also, please let me know if this new upload time is okay. I feel really bad that I've had to change it because I've had it pretty consistent for, I think, over a year now, uploading every day at around the same time. But it's not that there's anything in my life stopping me, although I, I work from um 8 to 4 usually 8 30 to 4 30 and then I get home and lately I was doing fine before but lately I've been so tired that I just like I'm out as soon as I get home and I wake up around 8 so then I do struggle a lot to get the videos done and uploaded but I, I could still get them done and uploaded by 11 which is normally what I would do but the processing time on the video takes like five plus hours for some reason it's just a new development YouTube's having some issues lately they didn't even pay us on time uh, this month so I don't really know what's going on but because of that I'm moving the upload time and honestly it is so much less stressful to film my video for the night edit it and just set it to upload but I'm not like rushing I can do it in my whatever time makes sense for me like last night I was working on the other doll room just moving some stuff around um, I don't have any new shelves or anything but I'm basically like cleaning up and preparing for what's gonna go where um, and just being able to like relax and not have to sit and like fight for my life trying to get the video out by midnight is honestly very very rewarding and I can I can just wake up in the morning before work review the video make sure it went up okay and everything's fine and then schedule it to upload for like noon and it was so nice yesterday it felt, like I don't know I, it was it was like a weight lifted off my shoulders so maybe it'll be better but I feel bad that it's gonna change because I know a lot of you guys um got very used to it and I did too and I do like it because I I really liked I'm uploading them now when I'm at work so I'm not really gonna i I'm uploading them when my lunch break starts so that I can answer comments when they sometimes... I don't always take a lunch break because it's a salary job. There's no lunch break. I can do it whenever I want to, right? But I just take it at noon because that's when most people are probably going to take it. Um, anyway, I'm just rambling. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye!